Hey guys, next up in the workshop, we're going to hunt for some mythical creatures. So I need a thumbs up or down. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome to the workshop. We are going to be working on a whole new gaming system. Well, I mean, most of my videos are this gaming system, that gaming system, this gaming system. But the one that I have right now is actually really cool. I, I've not actually really seen it or, or really know nothing about it. So well, I'll try to get some facts for you guys uh, next time. But it's called Arena Rex. And... Uh, I got some of the miniatures right there. Whoosh. Turn that around. Arena Rex. So it looks like it's a gladiatorial game. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to build some of these guys here. And we're just going to see what this is all about. So this is... I, you know... I don't really know too much about the game. I do know that it is uh, Red Republic. Red Republic is the makers. Yep, and you can go to ArenaRex.com pages game and get the and get the rules. So we'll look in on that. So let's build these guys and uh, see what we see how it uh, goes from there. I don't know if they're plastic or if they're resin. Uh, I can tell that they are not metal because they don't have the weight of metal. Uh, of course, it comes with all the character cards that you'll need to play. Possibly a holding cell for your for your guys to wait to go into combat. Ah, there's lots of cool things in here that we haven't that I haven't actually kind of looked into, but that's okay. I'm not the game guy. I'm the manager guy. The game guy is a, another uh, another channel or another. Within the rat hole. So we'll put these away, whatever those are. And put the charge cards away, and now we are going to take a look at the miniatures. I have... I do. Okay, great. This is actually one of my favorite uh, favorite parts about painting miniatures. This is, you know... It's actually building them. I love building them. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to use... Oh! Looks like there are some metal parts. As you can see, the trident is quite bent but we'll fix that it's a little bit of flash and easy peasy take care of so that already tells me what kind of glue we're gonna need and for that for that we are actually going to use uh, some gorilla super glue I mean we can use our mercury adhesives uh, medium it's actually what I'd like to use. And then I have my Instaset. It's a uh, oh, it's a it helps cure the uh, the 
the super glue or the really fast. And reaching way over into our tool section, we are going to need a toothbrush. Toothbrushes are great for taking off flash off of what looks to be uh, they look to be resin miniatures. So, with that being said, I kind of know how we're going to proceed, and it's going to be super glue all the way. A little bit of, uh, oh wow, look at that. Red Republic Games. And they even have the the year that they were made in Roman numerals. MM, of course, is your millennium, so two M's is a thousand. Those are, this is for those of you who don't know how to read Roman numerals. And of course, the X is 10, and the marks are 3, so it's 2013. So these guys were made... No, they were, they were fresh, freshly sculpted and pressed in 2013. So, you know, just about 10 years ago. But that's okay. That's cool. So we are going to get on, get on building. Now, it looks... Now, I don't know why we have two tridents. But that's all right. You be gentle, kind of gentle with the metal, and you can kind of straighten it out by hand. As you see what I'm doing right here, we're going to take our hobby knife, and we are just going to. Clear off the flash. Flash comes off real easy. There we are. Like I said, I love assembling these uh, miniatures. There we are. It's a heck of a lot straighter than it started, eh? Take a look at that. But we're not going to worry about that right now. We're just going to set that off to the side because we do actually have... Oh, we do actually have one done in resin. Now, those of us who are in the know know what this is for. It helps take off... the flash it does it in a gentle enough way that it's not really going to harm the main miniature And then if you need to, if there are some things that just won't come off, that's all. That's all right. We're, we're not gonna we're not gonna worry about it too much because we can go back in with a hobby knife and give it a nice scrape.
Take some side cutters here. There we go. We can get into the spots. Start cleaning up the miniature. Some of the bigger ones you can actually pull off. He's an action pose. Look at that. Whoosh, the hair is all flippy. So we're going to kind of continue to clean him up a little bit. And then we can look at the box art. And you can kind of see how things are going to go. Now remember, this is all This is all going to be done with super glue. I use this one quite a lot. You can use a myriad of different things to try to clear the clear the hole so that you can get your glue flowing nicely. I'll pick away some of the old glue if you gotta. Well, it happens. But that way, but that way you'll have a good good surface for for gluing. Okay. Now it would seem to me that he is on the one of the smaller ones because we have three. <laughs> we have three different base sizes. No, actually we have two different base sizes. Now those ones there, that'll be for these fellas. We have the big one, and that's for a different character that we have just off screen right there. Oh, big guy. We're not going to worry about him right now. Well, what we're going to do is we're going to trim down, well, not trim down, but
Make the feet a little bit flatter. So that when we glue him down, he will stick. Okay. Now we take our blue and we put little dollops on the feet. We literally just stick them The glue does take a little while to set up, which is why we have our accelerator. Accelerator is wonderful stuff because it accelerates the drying process. I mean, it does what exactly what it says is accelerates the drying process of the super glue. And as you can see, the super glue is he is stuck, he is glued in place. So now let's move on to the arm. Arm. Again, put a little dollop. Sorry, guys. A little dollop of glue on the arm. Line it up with the miniature. Line it up with the main body, I should say. Well, we can also hit the other side of it. With the accelerant, and the arm should be locked, locked in place. Well, we have one more arm that's left to work on. Popped it right off. Take the toothbrush, and that flash. Again, if the flash doesn't come off easy, you can even use your fingernails to clean it off. Again, just a little dollop. Okay. 
and we line up the arm. There we are. And that's one of the guys from the Arena X boxes. But the real treat that we have today is what I'm actually going to be painting. So just kind of clear these guys off for the moment. <laughs> what I'm going to be cleaning is also from Marina Rex. Uh, it is uh, Proximo, otherwise known uh, in, in, in some in some myths, uh, it is you know it's a great it's a it's a great beast, and it is described as having the body of a leopard, the haunches of a lion, the uh, the four the front legs of a heart, which is a kind of deer, and the head and neck of a snake. So, uh, kind of looking forward to putting that miniature together and uh, getting it all ready to paint for us next week. It's going to be amazing stuff. Uh, let's see if I can get the actual uh, the actual uh, myth. Or at least the description, not the actual myth, but the description. Hold tight just for a second there. I am just looking for it on my. Uh, on my phone because that's where I has it. Alright. Questing Beast is what it is. The strange creature, so this is the description that they that they have for it. The strange creature has the head and neck of a snake the body of a leopard, the haunches of a lion, and the feet of a heart. And again, I told you it's the, uh, it's kind of a uh, a deer kind of. Its name comes from the great noise that emits from its belly, a barking like thirty couple hounds questing. A galastant is related to the French word galas, gal, sorry, galapassant, yelping or barking, especially of small dogs or foxes. The questing beast is a variant of the medieval mythological view on... And I'm going to leave that there. If you guys know what it is, put it in the comments below. Uh, there is also another description of being half camel and half leopard. But we are going to do the questing beast proximo. So... There she is. Head and neck of a snake, body of a leopard, haunches of a lion, feet of a heart. So we are going to put this sucker together, and we are going to paint this up. So let's just uh, hop to it right now. We've got a couple minutes, so let's start. Let's take a look at this thing. Again, it's in resin, so... Super glue is the way to go. Okay. 
Look at this beastie. How nice of them to give me two bases, but that's the base for it. So, yay! There's the first part. You can see haunches of a lion and the body of a leopard. So this is where we're going to start. And we'll see how far we get. Give it a quick rundown of the catch any flash. We do have some some cleaning up to do. So what we are going to do we're going to take our side cutters. We're going to cut off those pieces as best we can. Then we're going to go in with the hobby knife. We're going to clean that area up a little bit before we glue it together. And then we're going to give it, well, first of all, before we do that, we're going to give it a dry fit and see how it, see how it sits. It's got some gapping, but nothing horrible, nothing that can't be fixed. This is going to take a little bit more than just a dollop of super glue. Now you can do it on the leg, or you can actually, you know, put some on the surface like that. Take your accelerant. And then hit the leg. Put it in. There we are. Part one of the questing based. Raw. It's pretty cool. Sit nice. Like that on the base. Again, take our side cutters and try to as gently as we can. Cut, cut the flash away and get into the leg. Cut that away. And what we can't cut away. That's we bring that's when we bring in the hobby knife. And we work on it. We whittle it down as best as we can.
All right. So we're going to go over just a couple minutes here. And we are going to at least get some of this critter built. It's okay. Again, there's a little bit of gapping. But it can be fixed. Again, take some of the super glue. And work it all around. Take the leg. Hit it with the accelerant. And I'll put the accelerant all around on it. Stick the limb on. And there we have. It's a three-legged critter with no head, no tail. But I'm going to keep working on this thing for you, and I'll have it ready to go for you next time. All right, guys. So in the meantime, stay safe, paint safe, and we'll see you in the workshop, all right?